The name Clarence Peter is trendy in Nollywood and the Nigerian Afrobeat industry. When you think of clean, well-shot and breathtaking Afrobeats music video, Clarence Peter is probably the brain behind the production. Sadly, is facing his worst ever nightmare this month of May. Tragedy eats Clarence Peter fast after the sad passing of Nigerian dancer Kodak in his Lagos home during the lockdown. According to reports, the police might be looking at a murder case. Is this an incident Clarence Peter will come out from anytime soon? Hello guys, it's T-Code here for African Glitz. <laughs> Clarence Abiodun Peters is a renowned music video producer, cinematographer and filmmaker in Nigeria. The 36-year-old producer is not only famous for being the son of veteran juju musician Sashino Peters and Nollywood actress Claron Chukura, but also famous for being the most sought-after music producer in Nigeria. Aside from being the founder and CEO of Capital Eels record label, which managed top artists like Kel, the Suspect, Il Bliz, and Chidima is also the CEO and founder of Capital Dream Pictures. This company specializes in film and performing arts production. While he began gaining prominence in 2005, when he took over the music video production industry by storm with better concept development and production equipment, Clarence Peters started video production as far back as 1998 when he directed the mobile sponsored documentary on AIDS. He equally gained more prominence when he directed about 40 episodes of the popular TV series Everyday People. Noteworthily, it is only fair to say that Clarence Peter has worked with most of the top artists in the Nigerian music industry. Some include Shino Rambo, Charlie Boy, Shei Shei, Burner Boy, Ron Town, Tiwa Savage, Timmy Dakolo, The Banj, Davido, Wizkid, Vector, Olamide, Chidima, Fino, Two Face Edibia, and Nice. Apart from the Nigerian artist he has worked with, he equally has mentored several music video producers gaining recognition in Nigeria today. The crazy thing about the artist is that every single time we put the artist in front of the camera and said action, the artist's the performance was amazing. Inspired by the big guns in the industry, including Steven Spielberg, Ajay, Ipe Williams, Kemi Adetiba, DJ T, Chesson, and H2G Films, it produced a horror movie in 2015, which later won the best short film at the 5th African International Awards. Equally, he shot the music video for Sugar Theme Song in 2012. While he has won several Eddies and MTV Awards, he notably was honored for his creativity in 2014 by Absolute Vodka and again ranked second among the top 10 most visionary music video directors in Africa. Interestingly, like every other famous producer in the music video industry, Clarence has been through the high and low just like a roller coaster. And while he has been accused of plagiarism, copyright infringement, he has never been a murder suspect. And that brings us back to the sad tragedy that hit Clarence Peter during the lockdown due to the circumstances surrounding Kodak's death. Just eight hours after popular Nigerian video vixen and professional dancer Picture Kodak, whose real name is Love Divine, updated her Instagram story. The Nigerian social media space was thrown into a mourning state on April 29, 2020, after she passed away following an alleged electrocution accident at Clarence Peter's home. According to reports, she had taken a break from a dance session and retired to Clarence Peter's studio to charge a phone. However, she made some grave mistakes which led to her untimely demise. From eyewitnesses at the scene, she sat on one of the metal sliding door rails while charging and using her phone simultaneously. Although the witness did not quickly notice the accident, she was later found to have been electrocuted with a phone on her chest, marks of severe bonds on her chest, and imprint of a phone on her chest. And while she was immediately rushed to three different hospitals and rejected by two for the fear of being a COVID-19 patient, she was eventually confirmed dead in the third hospital. In an interview with Premium Times on Monday, May 4, 2020, the Lagos State Police Command spokesperson, Bala Elkana, disclosed that Clarence Peter is being detained and will remain in detention until the Nigerian police force completes their investigation on Kodak's death. Following a demise, a lot of Nigerians and artists alike, including Black Bones, Olamide, Pokoli, and Kafi, took to social media to pay tribute to her. According to Mr. Elkana, the force is only waiting for the autopsy report and will clear Clarence Peter if the electrocution caused the sudden tragedy. However, 
He noted that if the autopsy report proves that electrocution is not the cause of Kodak's death, the force will be launching a murder case against the ace videographer and everyone involved in the house at the time. Well, taking us by surprise and speaking for the first time since Kodak's death, Clarence took to his Instagram page on Monday, May 4th, to debunk the story. Lagos State Police Command spokesperson commentary saying that he made himself available to the police willingly and was not arrested as claimed. In his lengthy post, Clarence further noted that he had pledged his support in the investigation of Kodak's passing. Further speaking, he gave his version of what transpired. According to him, it was not in the same building as Kodak when the incident happened and was only called to the scene when the dancer collapsed. Meanwhile, in his post, he praised Kodak for being an exemplary person while noting that she was a legend on her own and will be greatly missed by him. Do you think this tragedy will affect Clarence Peter's life and work? Is it right for the police to suggest mother and suspect the veteran videographer? Voice your opinion on the comment section down below. If this video was informative to you, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to check out our page for more African trending videos we know you'll like. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel, hit the bell sign so that you get a notification every time we upload a new video. Thanks for watching and see you in our next video. Oh, you